you. That next step depends on who you talk to. County Executive Dr. Sam Page holding a COVID briefing here a short time ago inside the main county building. Page saying the mask mandate is still in effect this morning. His chief spokesperson, Doug Moore, telling me that the vote last night by the county council holds no legal standing. Whatever the case, emotions at last night's meeting ran very high. That was reaction from the packed meeting after county council members voted five to two to overturn the county's mask mandate. That vote came after many people addressed the council. Most were critical of the mandate and of County Executive Page. The council members who voted to overturn the mandate were Tim Fitch, Mark Harder, Ernie Trakis, Ritter Her Days, and Shalonda Webb. Council members Kelly Dunaway and Lisa Clancy voted against the move to end the mandate. Those voting to overturn the mandate say it violated a new state law meant to limit the power of leaders to enact health orders. Council members arguing that under the law, Page should have consulted with the council before moving forward with the order. But Page says he did not violate the law and that he informed the council appropriately. Page says the mandate is also legal because it does not restrict any businesses from operating. Page explaining that this whole issue won't be resolved until a pending lawsuit filed by Missouri's Attorney General Eric Schmidt against the mandate is ruled on. Here is some of what Page said a short time ago. We should wear masks because it's the right thing to do. We should wear masks because the CDC asks us to, the Pandemic Task Force asks us to, and our public health officials ask us to. Um, yes, it's a mandate, and uh, we'll deal with it like we dealt with uh, the last uh, time we had a mask mandate. We'll look at this on a case-by-case -case basis. We'll make sure the word gets out. We'll continue education efforts. Councilmember Fitch, who led the charge to overturn the mandate, calls what Page just said PR magic and that the mandate is dead. We will see what happens next. For now, live in Clayton, Chris Bringay, Fox News.